A few days after the last bill became law, stories began to surface of an extreme disproportionate rate of death amongst African Americans in several cities. Some people cite the underlying health conditions as the reason for the extreme disproportionate rate. And my concern about that is that it's as though we can't deal with underlying health conditions right now and so that nothing can be done. This bill begins the process of addressing the disproportionate death rate, but oversight and advocacy from Congress and the public will still be needed. 70% death rate. Communities with large African-American populations will require focused and concentrated testing with rapid results. We have talked to doctors who have said that they have to wait seven to 10 days for the results of their tests. There is no way that you can have early treatment and intervention if you are waiting seven to 10 days. My fear is, is that many African Americans are being told to go home and to wait. And there have been many anecdotal stories about that. And by the time they make it to the emergency room, it's too late. Talk about a population in this. Some hospitals are using formulas that say, if we have to decide which person has access to a ventilator, it's based on the hospital's judgment as to whether or not that person will, be able, will have a better chance of survival, a better chance of a long life. Well, undoubtedly, this will hurt African Americans and contribute to a disproportionate death rate. Yesterday, I heard the president say that we have so many ventilators in the United States, we're now going to send those overseas. Why on earth would we send ventilators overseas when hospitals are having to make decisions as to who you put on a ventilator? ...that is being forgotten. We uh, will not be ignored. The African-American community will not be ignored. The combination of black and brown members of this nation will not be ignored, and death, death will not be ignored. 14% of the American population and 33% of America's death.